Today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Gofenin Forge and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Gofenin Forge, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for January 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So. In order to unlock the Gofanon Forge, you need to have completed the Valunder Forge first. So if you haven't done the Valunder Forge, then I will put an annotation at the top right of the screen right now on how to actually complete it as well as how to get the first key for the mystery box. So after you have beat the Valunder Forge, what you want to do is head to Earth. And when you get there, you need to start getting precision shots on Fallen. And what you are looking for is stolen black armory gear. Once a Fallen has actually dropped the Stolen Black Armory gear, what you want to do next is head to the Annex and actually speak to Ada 1. She will actually give you the next part of the quest. Next, you want to head to the Tangled Shore and actually get precision shots on Fallen and you want to gain 35 Tainted Black Armory gear. Once that's completed, you want to head to the spider, that way he can give you your next part of the quest. So, on this part of the quest, you need to do a heroic version of the Cryopod uh, public event, as well as get 75 melee kills on Fallen. After completing your melee kills, you want to head back to Spider to get the next part of the quest. So for this, we need to go to the EDZ and you want to head to the Winding Cove and actually start the mission, the Spider's Competition. Now this will bring you into three different of the Lost Sectors and you want to kill the boss in each Lost Sector. So the first boss is going to be a Vandal, the second boss is going to be a Captain, and then the third boss is going to be a Servitor. Now after you kill each boss, you want to go ahead and scan the caches in the area. After you scan the cache at each boss, the mission will update and it will bring you to the next area. After you scan the cache after the third boss, what you want to do is head to Nessus and specifically go to Exodus Black and look for and unalive the wanted Captain. After the wanted captain is dead, what you want to do is head to the cistern and actually start that mission. Now this mission will bring you into another lost sector and you would have to defeat the boss there as well. Once the boss is defeated, go ahead and scan the caches. After you scan the caches, the mission will update and then you're going to want to head to Artifacts Edge and actually start that mission that is there. Once you get the mission, make your way to the Lost Fuselage and you will encounter the very final boss and I will say, that boss is a bullet sponge. And if the boss isn't enough to deal with, you have tons and tons of ads that will just be getting in your way. After you defeat the boss, make your way towards the forge and the mission will complete. Then, you will have to head back to Ada 1. There, you will get a new weapon frame and you will also get a triumph that says Gafanon Forge Discovered. After that, you'll be able to see the Gafanon Forge on your map on Nessus. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. 
Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.